coming up in today's Battle Report. Back with Harry, yeah, and we're doing back uh, yeah, back again with another thousand point battle report. Um, but we've got something a bit different. We do. We so run. I'm for the first time in eight months. <laughs> shocker! Um, I've got my Ultramies out out again, and Tom, you've got a new army. I have. I've brought a channel debut, the Iron Warriors. So Perturabe's finest coming out, and it's my first time playing Chaos fully instead of as Astral Claws that are kind of Chaos, but yeah, we're Ultramarine it's, successes. It's, <laughs> you've, you've gone, you've gone full, full hog this time, yeah. which is fair enough. Um, in, in terms of, sort of when we were sort of setting this game up, we've tried to make the lists as balanced as possible. Obviously, yeah. space wounds being well, two wounds. Two, well, two wounds, two foot, two new books ahead of you guys. Yeah, actually, it was always going to be a bit of a tight one. So we try to keep try to keep it reasonably balanced. Yeah, um, I've gone demon engine heavy. Yeah, to try and bounce out, but to be honest, that's kind of what the Iron Warriors are anyway, yeah. so it kind of fits. So, things crossed, yeah. it should, should last more than five minutes. <laughs> yeah, be more than two thirds. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So we'll come back with a list in a second, and what game we're playing today, and we'll catch you in a second. Okay, so this is my 1,000 points on the nose of Iron Warriors. I'm using a patrol detachment. And leading up my HQ and Warlord is my Chaos Lord, who is WYSIWYG, so he does have the Thunder Hammer and uh, Plasma Pistol. He also has Flesh Metal Exoskeleton, which gives him a 2 plus save, and he heals a wound per turn, which makes him pretty good against Marines, because pretty, he's probably going to be taking quite a lot of uh, damage. And then leading up my second HQ slot is my Sorcerer. His uh, WYSIWYG as well, so he has got the uh, Force Stave, and he has taken the oh, has taken the uh, Warp Powers, Prescience, and Warp Time, uh, just to give me a little bit of an edge as I don't have the extra wounds. Then into my troop choices, I have gone with three troop choices. So I have got the uh, two five-man blobs of Chaos Space Marines, uh, they are mostly, well, they are WYSIWYG, uh, so one sergeant has chainsword and then the other one does have a power fist, uh, so it will make them quite beastly when they get into combat, or just running around the board. And then making up the third is just a 10-man Chaos Cultist squad, more of just a meat shield, or go and hold an objective, or do an objective for me, that's what they're really there for, or take a charge. Then leading into my elites, I have a Hellbrew which is the uh, standard one. So he has the Hell Brute Fist and the Multi Melter, and he is just as he comes. And then I have a Chaos Dorado Dreadnought, which is um, specced with the Missile Launcher, two Heavy Bolters, and the Auto Cannons. So he is quite a uh, potent little gunboat that will be probably sat at the back. And then in my Heavy Support Choices, I've gone with a Mauler Fiend, so he is just the punching one, so he's got the Lashes Tendrils and the Fists, he'll be running around causing absolute havoc. And then, last but not least, I have a Hell Drake, or Hell Turkey, depending on how you see it. So he will be uh, flying around, uh, just causing havoc. He has the Bow Flamer, so he will be uh, auto, at least auto hitting, I don't have to worry about trying to hit with him. Or else, that is my 1000 points of Chaos Space Marines. Okay then, so this is my 995 points of Ultramarines. So, running things a little bit different today, I'm taking an Outriders attachment, um, mainly because of those presses in the background. I can't take them in squads more than three. Cheers, GW. Anyways, starting off at, at the front, I have got my Primaris Captain. He is my warlord today. He's equipped with a Power Sword, Mastercraft Devoted Bolt Rifle, um, his relic for today is going to be the Vox Spiritum, so giving him a nice 9-inch um, nine inch aura of reroll ones. And his Warlord trait is going to be Calm Under Fire, so allowing me to fall back and shoot without the minus 1 penalty, once again, that being an aura. Into troops, 
I have got one squad of intercessors. The sergeant is equipped with a power fist and the rest of them have bolt rifles. I also have a squad of infiltrators. Now they're just coming as stock because I didn't have enough points to take the helix adept. Plus he's also not painted. I'll get around to him eventually. Into elites, I've got a squad of three aggressors with bolt storms and the frag storms on top. Nice solid bit of Dakar, and currently the only bit of combat I've got painted up in this force. Now, moving on to fast attack. So, starting off, I've got my converted assault marines. So, these are just the assault intercessor bodies with the um, standard assault marine jump packs, just magnetized on top. My idea for them is I really like them in the orc game. Um, for doing actions so i'm going to see how one squad does and go from there they'll probably be a bad choice but it's worth giving a bit of experimentation we also have two suppressor squads now as, as i said before gw still doesn't doesn't like us to take these in squads of more than three so i have to take up two slots hence the outrider then topping it all off in the heavy support I have retrofitted with my Gladiator Lancers to be a Gladiator Valiant. So that comes with the twin Laz Talon on the top, so that's four strength nine shots, as well as the twin multi melters. So eight, eight anti tank shots is pretty good. I've also spent five points on the, um, what's it called, um, auto launchers to give him access to the smokescreen keyword. Personally, when I was reading, reading up on the rules, I think it's just a five point auto auto take. So instead of it being 230, it's 235. But that auto launches will come in handy at some point in this game. So yeah, that is 995 points of Ultramarines onto mission and deployment. Today's mission is Rise of the Machine Spirit from the Grand Tournament 2021 Mission Pack. The Ultramarines object secondary objectives are Overs of Moment, Retrieve Octarius Data, and Engage in All Fronts. The Iron Warriors have gone for Engage in All Fronts, Raise the Banners High, and To the Last. Okay, so deployment's done. Harry's caged himself off a little bit. I think he's a bit worried if I get first turn. I'm going to come out the blocks with my demon engines and come barreling up the board and punch stuff. The main one is sewing out that Eldrake. Yeah. Um, for me, I've gone with a quite high line because uh, I know I need to score points early. I need to try and get a hold of the uh, objectives and just try and bunker down. I know siege experts are meant to besiege stuff, but I'm going to be the one fortifying myself. <laughs> cool. So we're going to go and see who's going first. Certainly. So I've rolled a four. Nine I've rolled a five. Do you want to go first, sir? I'll go first. Yeah? Cool. So we'll be back with, after the Ultramarines movement phase. We'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so Harry has finished his movement phase. I have. And do you want to talk us through what you got up to? Cool. So start the command phase. Um, the only thing that's happened in this list is I'm okay, getting a command point, which I've then spent on squad doctrines. So this squad of suppressors, which were up on the um, up on the crates at the top, have jumped forward so they can start getting some line of sight on those cultists. I know there's the um, Dorado and the uh, Held right there, but it also gives me a bit of screening against those combat units. Um, the other squad suppressors have just stayed where they are. The gladiator has um, trundled up, or I suppose hovered up in this case, and is in range with its multi melters and its um, twin last talent against the hellbrute. We were both we were say, saying off screen that Tom's hellbrute is freshly painted, my lancer is freshly outfitted, they're probably going to completely whiff it each. We'll see what happens with them. Um, the captain's just staying where he is because he's got the Vox Spirit and he's within nine inches of both suppress squads which are going to need it. Um, the 
Intercessors have just swapped places with the aggressors on the objective. Speaking of which, the aggressors got a mighty six on their advance, which meant that they were able to get within six inches of the central battlefield. That's my tactically placed dice to show the central battlefield for me. Um, so they are scoring me so far two points for those at the moment. Uh, the infantry squad has started scoring up Tyrus data. They're just they're doing that action, they're probably not going to shoot at all. And I'll probably be using Gorilla Tactics to pull them up at a later stage. And last but not least, the Assault Marines have jumped up. Um, I've been a little bit gamey, so they are over an inch away from the um, outside wall. So they can't be at all charged or used by the Mortal Fiend to leapfrog his way around the board quickly. So yeah, that's that. Cool. No sidekick, so we're going to shooting. Cool, so we're back in a second with shooting. Cool, so we're back with the shooting phase. Harry's got some uh, fun targets coming my way. So, what are we going for? Um, just, to, just to play it safe, everything from the Valiant is going to unload into that Hellbrute. I do not like that multi one bit. All right, bye Derek. <laughs> Cool, so we'll start off with the, um, we'll start with the Twin Lab Talon. Yeah. Because why not? So four shots, um, hitting on threes. Um, do you have a smoke gorgeous or anything like that? Uh, do, 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 no. Okay, cool. I don't. So <laughs> four shots, hitting on threes. Okay, so that's three hits. And then threes to wound. That's one wound. Uh, I'll keep that for the time being. Yeah. Yeah, so Any minus. minus four. So no save. Doctrine, doctrine. And d6 damage, four wounds. Four wounds. Sure. So he is down to four wounds remaining. Cool. And then the two multi melters. So once again, four shots, hitting on threes. Okay, not great. Um, freeze to wound again. Cool, two no wounds. Save. Minus five at this point. <laughs> Don't say doctrine. So, not within half range, so 2d6. That'll, that'll kill him. Yeah, does he explode? No. Oh, thank God. <laughs> cool. So, that is a job well done from the Valiant. Yeah, I got a hole. I, I, <laughs> that's I, that's I what that, it's meant to yeah, do. Yeah, that is what it's meant to do. It was just, was that a bit overkill? Probably. No. no. But, hey -ho. Yeah. Cool. So, cool. what's next to shoot? Um, I think we'll just do the front squad of suppress. Actually, no, we'll do the back squad first because I know what they yeah. can only see. They are going to go into the cultists because that's generally all they can see. They can't okay. see. I can see a barrel of there ago, but I don't. I'm not. I'm not going to be that. Team. <laughs> so we'll uh, nine auto cannon shots into the cultists. So hitting on threes, rerolling ones. Cool, and this one, and then strength seven, so twos. Of course, there are a couple ones in there. That's two. Uh, and with the minus, I don't believe. Minus two, then with. Um, uh, so yeah, eight up save, can't make. Two. That's six in total, dead. Cool. What's the front squad see? Um, honestly, I think we'll just do the same same in the front squad. The suppressors will yeah. completely overkill. <laughs> uh, all those ones because the captain's box. Yep. And then twos. Sure, that's cool, two, but... four, six. That's, all. that's the squad wiped. Cool. Nice. Uh, that, I, and to be honest, I think that's it, not only for the shooting phase, but also my turn. Cool, no charges or anything? Uh, not yet, no, because right. yeah, I don't see anything. Cool, so we'll move into turn one for the Iron Warriors. Let's see if I can make a little bit of a comeback after that. <laughs> <laughs> cool, so we'll see you guys in a second. All right, so that brings a close to my movement phase. Being two units down already, <laughs> I was like, okay, what can I do? 
So I've moved the Dredo over because it only has clay line of sight. I could go after the tank, but I'm probably going to go for the suppressors just to get rid of them because they're annoying. Yeah. And he is Marcus Lanesh, so we can fire twice. Have got prescience, could put on him, make him two yeah, stick here. Yeah, we got too bad then. Yeah. I've conga lined these guys just to protect the two characters that are here. Just to, and I'm still on that point as well. As you can see, the big hell turkey. The hell drake is uh, flown into the middle. He's going to play with some aggressors. Just in case you know. That's Why not? Best thing to do. He has got a flamer, so I can at least hurt them. Over here, I've moved the Mola Fiend within three inches of the objective. So he is holding it. Which then does stop Harry scoring insane amounts on the uh, primary. Mm -hmm. And I've also advanced to these guys rather six to advance all the way up so then they can take over that point next turn and the Morlefiend can then move off to do its own little thing. Cool, so Psychic, I am going to put Prescience onto the Dredo. So I am just going to double check the warp charge. So it is a warp charge of six. I've got no denial here, so this is purely your doing. Uh, okay, I'm going to spend CP. So yeah, down, to four, down, to, well, down to five from six. Okay, that definitely goes on. Yeah. So now he has prescience. I'm um, not going to warp time, and nothing's within range of smiting. So then we'll move into my shooting. Uh, I think the only really thing that's going to be shooting is the dreadnought and turkey. the hell turkey. Uh, yeah, we'll start with the dreadnought. We'll just go straight into it. So, I'm going to put the two D3, three D3 shots into the uh, suppressors. Is that the front or the back squad? Uh, the front squad. Front squad, because they're, they're not getting covered there. No. Cool. Uh, so, three D3 shots. And then the autocams, I'm guessing you're going to something else. Uh, that is, yeah, the missiles into them first, yeah. and the autocannons into the one that's at the back. Yeah. And then heavy bolsters into the ones at the front. It may be wasted, but especially when I've just rolled an absolutely. Oh, that's <laughs> lovely. Woo! Uh, so that's what? Three. That's nine shots. That's nine shots. Okay. Hitting on twos. And re rolling ones. And re rolling. Next reload. Yep. Well, there's okay. don't, don't need any re rolls there. Yes. Uh, strength five. Uh, strength six. Okay, three's the wound then. Yeah, three's the wound. Which, uh... Okay, so heavy bosses might be needed. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, so that is one, two, three, four. Okay. Five. Sorry, there was three there. So, five in total. And is there anything AP on these? Uh, minus one. Minus one, so out in the open there on a four up save. Oh, good lord, that's two suppressors dead. <laughs> okay, that's the thing. Cool, uh, I'll do the heavy bolters just because it's into the same squad, just to see if they go. I think this might be a, this might be a five minute hour report because we're working the new teacher. Yeah, table. apparently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so hitting on twos, re roll the ones. Cool. And then wounding our threes. Yeah. So that is four wounds at minus one. But these are two damage a piece. Okay, so. You need to save all, all of them. these, preferably. So three up save, minus yep. one because the eight of the AP of the gun, plus one because I'm behind the boxes. Now that's d disappointing. <laughs> um, I need a CP. I, mm, I'll save, I'll re-roll one of them. Cool. Yep. So one survives. Oh. Cool. I feel the endless points. cacophony if I use it. It's going to be a bit of an overkill. I think Because that, I can't split the auto cannons. Mm. That's, that's, I think that's the reason why, why I decided to go with the CP roll, because it then forced you to endless cacophony yeah. rather than just leaving them there. Uh, well, the, I said the auto cannons are going into the back lot, so. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, bird. As well. What was that? Oh, was that, that? Sorry, was that heavy bolts first? Uh, yeah, it was heavy bolts okay. first. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight auto cannon shots, because you know I like a bit of overkill. Right. That one. Uh, re roll the one. They've all hit. Okay, we're both going for major overkill. Uh, 
three to wounds. Um, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. Is um, uh, three wounds, but it is minus two two damage a piece again. And that's on the front squad. Oh uh, yeah. So he needs to. Ooh, close. Close, but I've already spent the CP, so he's dead. Cool. Okay. No, well, at least he did something. <laughs> he did do something. Uh, so the Hell Drake is going to fire actually into the assault squad. Okay. I did consider the aggressors, but they have a high armor. It's only a flamer. Yeah. It's probably going to do more to the uh, guys on the roof. Uh, so his bell flamer is assault d6. And then he's getting two. And then strength six against your toughness four, so threes. Wow. Well, that's not happening. No, there's no evidence he's doing nothing. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Great job there. Um, no, not for the greater good. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> cool, into a charge phase. He's going to charge the aggressors. <laughs> yep. Are you going to overwatch that? Um, well. With your two CP remaining? <laughs> I've got, well, no, I've, I've got two CP remaining. Um, what I could do is play defensive focus, which, yeah. before you nuked all my, um, all my suppressors, was definitely going to happen. <laughs> um, how many attacks have you got? Uh, let's have a looky. Let's see what he has. His current attacks are four. Four. Is uh, it one freeze or fours? Uh, bu -bu -bu. Hitting on threes. What's his strength? He is strength seven. Strength seven. So you win on hitting on threes, winning. Yeah, and it's minus one uh, D3 damage. I think we're going to brave it. Yeah. I think, because obviously two CP to let the. Um, uh, let's see if I make it in first. Yeah, I can't good. not fail. No, you're in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I can't go behind you. Yeah. Cool. So four attacks. Hitting on threes. Cool. Three hits. Um, if I use the CP to reroll. Uh, not in this phase. No. Nope. So. Cool. Full hit. And then it is strength seven, your toughness. Toughness five. Toughness five, so three. Yeah. Ooh, should have maybe saved it for that. Possibly. Two go through, and it's minus one. Okay, so I could use an unyielding the ancients, because that is that strategy. See somewhere. That's really consuming. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to brave it. Yeah? Okay. Famous last words. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's D3. Anyway. Yeah, it's a D3. It's cool. A just, three. So just, just kill one. One goes flat. That's fine. Cool. The caca worked. Mm. <laughs> um, I get to hit back, actually. You do? Uh, let's move him in, because he did, actually. So at least he's in base contact. Uh, aggressors, they've got... Uh, three attacks each, and the sergeant also has one. I was also charged. Yep, so you do get the old uh, shocking assaults. And I'm hitting on fours here. Just before you do that, I do have hatred, hateful assault. You get, you get so I got percent. plus one, so we'll just quickly roll out plus one. Yeah, it misses anyway. Cool. And um, I'm hitting on fours, I'm not within range of the captain, so I do not get the okay. ones in this. Ooh. Okay, that's shocking because <laughs> it's only three hits. Uh, I am toughness seven. Okay. Uh, I'm strength eight, so two wounds. Two wounds. Uh, minus three. So it's a six up. You got a demon save. Uh, I do. I have in five plus and vulnerable. Cool. So it was two, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, both go through. Four damage. Four damage, so he is now down uh, ten to eight wounds. Okay. It's not too bad. Cool. So that's the end of my turn. Um, we'll go quickly top up. Just do morale. Yeah, just do morale on the one, so, one guy at the back. Suppressors, um, I've lost lost two. So that is my sergeant, because he's got his no special knee pad there. And has, has no helm. <laughs> and has no helm. Um, so leadership eight, but I'm ultra mean, so plus one leadership, leadership nine, so actually yep. I can't fail. Can't fail that. Which no, is quite no good, way so. of failing it. So Cool. So yeah, no morale. So 
So we'll come back at the end of Harry's movement phase. We'll also come back with scores when we come back then. So we'll see you guys in a sec. All right. So Harry's done some jigging around. Done a little jig. Kind of, kind of like you turn one. My turn two after you wiped out all my suppressors and well, pretty much all my suppressors and took a chunk out of the um, aggressors. I now have to be a bit more, bit more jiggy with my actions. So starting off, I spent another. Um, so gain CP in the command phase, and that was it. And then spent. So I was on um, three CP. I then spent two of those CPs. So the first one was on fall back and re-engage um, on the aggressors. That's so they can hopefully get in first with their power fists. Um, the assault squads didn't quite know what to do with them just yet, so um, they're going to fling some gestures at the, at the Hell Drake <laughs> for the time being. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of see where they're going at. The holy hand grenade. I was I was half tempted to put them into engagement with France, but there's the big scary move thing there. It's just it'll just be yeah. Crazy. The, the angry doggy is lurking. Yeah. Though there there might be an argument for um, sticking them and just roadblocking him. Yeah. It just with five of them they would not survive. So mm -hmm. it probably wasn't worth it. Um, moving them down onto here. Um, my second CP went on guerrilla tactics. So the squad of five infiltrators, which were there have popped up into the cloud, so Took they <laughs> will be deep striking somewhere else on the board later on this game. Dun, dun, dun. Um, and then to hold that objective, my lone suppressor has backed up behind the tank, and the Valiant has parked itself in front of the objective, going to try and leave that there there, because I cannot survive another phase <laughs> with him, especially with all that damage to firepower. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so Harry's going to talk about what he's going to be firing at, so we'll be back in a second. Cool. So back with the shooting phase, Harry has decided what he's going to be shooting at. And um, what are you going to do to me? It's probably going to really hurt. I just, do you know, pretty just, much what I'm pointing at. Do you know what I just should have done? <laughs> what? Because of the amount of stuff you killed with that Derrideo, I should because I was, talk, I was talking about this in pre-game, I could have used Avenger the Fallen. From that, unfortunately, it's when an Ultramans unit from the army has died from enemy unit, so that's that's long gone. But and because we were talking about this, the FAQ for it means that actually it doesn't just apply to say core captures; it's any Ultramans unit. So it would have yeah. been a way for me to get reroll ones against that thing. What can now get a bunch of ones? <laughs> And cool. I've had one command point as well, I should have used yep, it. Yep, and we've double checked it, so even the, it, well, it's currently on, I do get the minus one to the damage. Yep. And of course I have a five up in bun, because, you know, just a walking assault cannon. Okay. Cool. Uh, I think we'll start off with the multi-melters. Yep. Oh, there's, there's the one, one there. <laughs> <laughs> um, freeze to wound. Cool. Three cool. wounds. So three invulnerables. Don't stop any of them. Okay, so... Because um, I'm in half range, I would be plus two, plus two. Yep. But because of um, duty eternal, it's minus one. So actually, yeah. wherever these are, plus. Well, plus the three. chaos version is uh, relentless hatred. That's a good roll. That is a very, so very that's, good roll. Um, 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 wounds. Um, yeah, I don't have that many wounds. <laughs> I only have 12. <laughs> Do you have a 6 of burn king you can do it at all? No. Ah. <laughs> going to go boom. Okay, then go no, boom. No, it doesn't. <laughs> After the Silent King, I'm never going to roll an explosion <laughs> no, <you> again. No, can <laughs> <laughs> Cool, so that, um, yeah. Okay. He's doing his job that time. Yeah. I like the Valiant. <laughs> Valiant is actually pretty decent. <laughs> and he's got and he's got as well. Yeah, so what's next on the cards? Um, I think we'll start off with the captain leading lead by example. Yeah, is he going to take a pot shot at the hell turkey? Uh, he will do. Now, how many okay. his pistol is um, bolted to get? I think it's three. Um, something like that. So, Master Red Auto Bolt Rifle is three shots, straight four, minus one because I'm tactical now. Yep. Uh, flat two damage. So, are uh, you minus one to hit? 
Uh, yes, I am. I have got the fly keyword. I'm just not supersonic. You're not supersonic, so you, you don't no, get my No, so yeah, it's supersonic only. Cool, so two hits, um, five to wound, one wound. Cool. Um, minus two? Uh, minus one. Minus one. But plus one because you're in cover. Yeah, so three up. Uh, he, I'm re rolling that. <laughs> That's better. Okay. <laughs> I am not losing more units. <laughs> um, so she's, he's only down to. Uh, to be honest, actually, I probably don't want wounds. to kill it because I want to make sure I've killed it. Uh, no, actually, no, I've, I've got enough that I can continuously score that point for the yeah. time. Um We'll then do the three shots from the suppressor. Okay. So that's all's going to go into the check in. Um, because I'm in tactical doctrine, ultra moves don't suffer penalty for moving and shooting, so hitting on freeze. Nice. Okay. Uh, three to wounds, two wounds. Okay. Uh, minus one, plus one, because you're in cover. Yeah. So that's fine. Cool. Here's a three up. Yeah. So. Now, um, we then do a. If we do the assault score, because I'll have to collect a lot of dice for the. Um, Metal bomb. Presses. Yeah. So, and the Metal one's only in the fight. fight oh, okay, sorry. So, do a crack grenade first from the sergeant, then everyone else will fire bolt pistols. So hits, you tough as six. I am tough as seven. Five to wound. Oh, that was on five then. Cool. And then bot pistols. Oh, wow. That's a roll. And you're within nine, I believe. I think we've already done yeah. that. Yeah, so you get to re-roll the one as well. Job. Okay. <laughs> he just can't hit. Uh, no wounds. No wounds. Cool. Um, we'll come back in a sec once I get to all the shots of the aggressors. Cool. All right, so Harry did his shots off camera, just because, you know, we thought, oh, yeah, speed things up. Then he rolls sixes. <laughs> so, or the sixes. So there's... Um, so he's gone back to his orc days, yeah. and he now has a bucket load of dice. So, we got, um, <laughs> so six shots from the two gauntlets, plus another six shots from the frag grenades. So that's 24 shots from the two of them. Yep. Um, he's gone freeze because of um, fall back and re-engage, because... That strategy means I do not suffer the penalty. I'm also within nine inches of the captain, so I'm hitting on threes to really long ones. Yep. At least I'm toughness seven. That is something. That's all of them. Um, five, six. Sorry, we need the last guns again. That's all of them. Cool. There. Um, two, six wounds in total. Oh. And I would have a minus one, but technically you are also in cover as well, so. Yeah, so three. three, three. Okay. Four wounds. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's fine. Uh, so he's down to four. Hopefully, if he survives the next time he gets one back. Uh, Better than nothing. <laughs> yeah, so he's on four wounds. Cool. Uh, so, anything else shooting? Uh, no more shooting because nope. my incest squad is doing the second round of retrieving the Pataris. Yep. So they can't do anything else. Um, oh, there's a couple of charges I've got lined up which um, I will have to have a think about. Okay, cool. So we'll be back in a sec. All right, so Harry's worked out some measurements and thought about it. Uh, I had he, to use my, you had to use my brain. Yeah, you were going to big brain it and go after the Morlafine until you realised what Lasher tendrils actually do. Yeah, and suddenly the Morlafine seemed attacks, a bit yeah. too scary to be up against. Yeah, um, two, two aggressors and some assault marines versus Morlafine. I'm not, even though I've got numbers, I'm not sure the chances are that great. No, so you are going to charge the Helldrake. Yeah. What are you charging him with? I'm going to start off with the assault squad, I think. Okay, so I am going to pay a CP to Overwatch. Yeah. Um, let's see. So two automatically hits, a strict six, two, three to wound. Cool. One wound, minus two, two uh, damage. Plus one because I'm in. Yeah. Let's give him cover. Okay, one yep. dies. Well, at least he's got rid of one of them. <laughs> yeah, he gets rid of one. Yeah. Um, and then jumpy packs. They will be in with... Yeah. 
Yeah. But uh, I'll move I'll move them in a sec. And we'll do then do the aggressors. They're in. Oh, they want it. Um and you know what? We shall Cap as well. I'm thinking the captain, purely for the fact that Because at, at the moment he is out he's out of three inches of yeah, so he will go I was thinking maybe keep him to her intervene with them, but no, we'll go with the captain. Eight gets him in. Fantastic. Sure. So I'll move those in and we'll come back with attacks. Cool. Charges of have... Oh, everyone's piled in. And there's a little bit of a party bus going on in the middle. Um, Harry's picked up uh, for the aggressors to fight first. Yep, so we're going to go with aggressors first. They've got the best combat weapons out of the bunch. Yeah. Um, so, Frit, um, so they've got seven attacks base, then plus two for the shock assault, so that's nine attacks in total. So hitting on threes, re-rolling ones because of the captain. Hitting on fours, sorry, because of um, power, fists. power fists. That's why the reload captain's quite useful. <laughs> um, three wounds. Okay, so that is four wounds at minus three then, please. So that's on my five up in then. Ooh. That's not bad, but that does kill it. Yes. It's two damage pop. So, does he explode? No. 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 Still not again. First time lucky? No. <laughs> he explodes. <laughs> cool. He just goes poof. Cool. He's poof the magic dragon. I did. I, that needs to happen, unfortunately. Yeah. Just to... Cool. So that's the end of your turn. There's no nothing else. Yeah. Um, I might, I'm going to do a couple of consolidation just shenanigans just to yeah. make sure that my well, captain's not out in the open anywhere. <laughs> cool. So we'll be back in a second. Cool, so end of my movement phase. Uh, all I've really done is shuffled these guys over so the Valiant has to come around and shoot them. These guys have moved up and raised a banner. And the angry doggy has gone for a run. <laughs> I do not um, we have, chances. Yeah, so he only has a 10 inch move, but he doesn't physically fit where he ends. So we have agreed that it'll be whatever the charge distance currently is, plus one. Yeah, and the re reason why it doesn't fit is purely for the lash tendrils, the base itself. Fits. Yeah, the, ba the base fits, it's just the way I've modelled him doesn't. Yeah. Uh, and then in here, the uh, scary party, uh, my Chaos Lord and Sorcerer have come in, and they're going to try and have a bit of fun, I think. So we're going to move into my psychic phase. Um, so I am going to try and cast Presence onto my uh, Chaos Lord. That goes off. I really wish I'd... I'd to be honest, it was <laughs> a toss between the, the box and the um, Sanctum Halo. Yeah. Sanctum Halo does give you Deny the Witch. And I've got three command points. So I'm going to spend one on the Great Sorcerer, which allows, because he is a Zinch Sorcerer, so it allows me to manifest one extra power. So I'm going to smite the aggressors, because they are the closest visible target to me. Uh, six, that goes off. D from what we was on the aggressors? Two. Two. Down, down to one. Yep. And then I'm going to spend another command point, because I'm going to move now move into my shooting phase. Yep. So I'm going to spend one command point at the beginning of my shooting phase to give my Heretic Astartes character that has a bolt pistol or combi, so it can't be my Chaos Lord, but my Sorcerer has a bolt pistol. Yeah, just don't, don't kill yourself. Yeah, well I'm going to do Demon Shell, which will go into the aggressors. Yeah. So all I have to do is try and make a hit roll. You do get reroll ones up. Oh, uh, no, I don't get to reroll it in any way, shape or form. So. Does hit. Does hit. Now it does D3 Mortal Wounds. Cool. For one. Well, cool. So it does kill an aggressor. Okay, at least it's done something. That's two command points gone. Uh, then the Chaos Lord's going to fire his plasma pistol yep. into the aggressors. Yep. Uh, so it's just one shot. Hits. Does wound. wound. Um, minus three, it would be yep. six up, five up because we're in cover. Cool. Uh, cool. Just to double check the damage on that. I think it is just. Uh, no, that's a that'd be five up. Because it's so. Oh yeah, so you're fine. Minus so, uh, three of armor save. Yeah. Minus three, but because we're in cover, plus one. That's plus one, so that's fine. 
Uh, all other shooting, there is nothing else to shoot because the Mauler Fiend doesn't have anything to shoot. They're doing an action. They're doing, yeah, these guys are doing an action over here so they can't shoot. These guys can't see anything. They're no, just really they're holding a back objective. Um, so, moving into my charge phase, I'm going to put the Mauler Fiend into the spicy boys in the corner. Yeah, they've got a power fist, so watch out. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a problem. <laughs> I don't think he's going to get the hit. Uh, so. He's in? Yeah, he's in. Cool. And then my Chaos Lord into your captain. He's there. Um, I'm not going to overwatch. And he definitely wants that with an 11. Oh, crikey. Yep. And my sorcerer is going to join him. Ooh, five. Mm. Let's just double check that. Whilst you're staying... Yep, yeah, because you have to go around it so you're not within engagement range of him, so that yep. will get him in. Cool. So that's him in. Cool. So I'm just going to... double team me? Yeah, I'm going to double team you in the worst possible way. Uh, so I'm going to come back with the dice for the last of 10 rolls so I see to add it up. So we'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've grabbed all my dice and I've also decided with my last CP for this turn I am going to use... Uh, Demon Forge, which does give me the reroll to hit and reroll to wound. Uh, the wounds on it's all right. Two two rerolls or is yeah. fine, but it's really the fours reroll. Yeah. Which is what you, what you so shoot in terms of his attacks, he gets six from the Lasher Tendrils, and I get four fists. Uh, well, four fists plus one because of Hateful Assault. So I'll do the fists first. So I am hitting on fours rerolling. Um. Do you actually. Uh, I'm going to, have to spend the last CP or transhuman, aren't I? Yeah, I would. I would, yeah. So, yeah. Just, just think about it. I've got to keep that score alive, really. So. Okay, so that's four hits. Cool. Uh, two to wound. I'm four. sure 14. Four's uh, four to wound. Um, but I do get to reroll the fails. Yep. Well, that didn't help. No, that really, <laughs> that, that, that did not help you. So that's four um, Yeah, so minus three, three damage. Okay. Sixes. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Uh, well, that's that's no. four dead. <laughs> and now the, the Sarge is about to get slanashed and whipped. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> well, it'd be more corny. Yeah. Well, let's stop being so corny. <laughs> uh, so still freeze. <laughs> Uh, four's rerolling because of transition. Uh, so it's still three goes through at minus two this time. One damage. Two damage. Two damage. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's a problem. Yeah, because I'm also going to just consolidate that way. <laughs> yeah, so you're definitely on there. Yeah, definitely holding three now. The good thing is, though, that they are. Um, they did their retrieve Octarius, so actually. They've done their job in that Yeah, they've, they've, they've done their job. The angry doggo decided that he was uh, too angry. Cool, so moving on to my Chaos Lord. <laughs> yes. So now he's going to spin round and drop the hammer, because it is now hammer time. So he gets four attack space, plus one for Hateful Assault. So he would normally be hitting on threes, because of the hammer, but because of Prescience, it's now twos. Yeah. So hitting on twos. Reroll those two ones. Cool. Choose to wound. Probably should put Count on him instead. Ooh. Yeah, four go through. Minus two, three damage. I've got four of him done. Yeah. So. Come on, Captain. Do your work. No. He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. Well, I kind of needed that. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> and what are we going to do? And he, the source would have to go yeah. to the aggressor. Do you want to go in combat with him or? <sighs> no, because I didn't declare him as a charge, so I can't hit him. No, yeah, well, yeah, you wouldn't be able you, to hit him. And you get to fist me. That's and fine. I would rather not have you cast fist in my face. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> cool, so that's the end of my turn. That went better than expected. <laughs> it's an interesting game now. Yeah, it's a bit topsy turvy. One turn you'll annihilate me, the next turn I seem to hit you back just as hard. It was a good Smash Fest this game. Yeah. Good old Chaos vs. the uh, Poster Boys. Cool. So we'll come back after Harry's movement phase and 
we'll see what the scores on the doors are. All right, so end of Harry's movement phase. We'll just uh, catch you up on what the scores are at the moment. So yes, um, in not including um, climbing points from um, my uh, my round three, we are looking at twenty one to fourteen points. So the ultra wins are fairly comfortable. However, in this turn, I kind of I need to kill the characters and the Mauler fiends, which would stop me from scoring over the moment for the next for the last couple of turns, but they do need to go. Um, in terms of primaries, because the Mauler Fiend did its job in mulch the incest squad, I only have five points on the primary this turn. So the suppressor has taken up his position using his tactical doctrine. So he's gonna be shooting at normal this skill. The um, gladiator has um, gone to face. He is within three inches of the objective as well, so they. Excuse me. He is within three inches of the objective as well, so they are contesting it. Just, I, I can't get, let you score any more points on the prime than you need to. No. Um, the aggressor has just turned around to probably shoot the sorcerer in the back <laughs> with all his bolt shots. Typical ultramarines. Um, the assault marines have done their one job, which is to jump up into another quadrant and they're deploying my third Octaris. So they're doing their job. And then last not least, I could leave them off the table, reading how, how the stratagem's written, but I thought I'd just put the, um, the infiltrators in Tom's back corner. A, so they're set up ready for next turn's Octarius. But also, um, at the moment, I wouldn't have been scoring engage, and with those guys, I do get, um, I do get, um, I'm in three quadrants, so I finally get some engage on front points. Cool. Uh, so moving into because there's no sidekick, moving into your shooting phase. What you're starting with? Um, I think I've got to start with the um, big scary. Yeah. Versus the big scary dog. Fair enough. So we'll start with the multi melters. So, um, four shots, hitting on threes here. So, those all hit. Nice. And threes to wound. That's mm, okay. That's two wounds there. So, two five up and vulnerables, because I'm a demon engine. Okay. Save one. Uh, one goes through. I don't have any CP left at the moment. That's, that's good to know. Um, so, it's going to be D6 plus two, because yep. you're in half, definitely in half range. Nice. Okay, eight wounds. So, he then got... Four wins left. Cool. Um, and then I've got the the twin mass talon. Four shots. You're starting to miss those ones, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, those all wound. Oh, stop one, two go through. Yeah, I, he's not guaranteed dead though. No. I do have a command point. So. Okay, he's dead. Okay, he's dead. Yep. Does he explode? No. Cool. Damn it. Yeah. He's done incredibly well with that tank. Yeah, that tank has been your MVP this oh, game so definitely. far. <laughs> point, point, click, point, click, yeah. point, click. Uh, so, what's up next? Um, I think we'll do the suppressor next. Yeah, is he going into the saucy boy? He's going to go into the sorcerer, um, just because that's all he can really see. Yeah, fair enough. So, three shots hitting on freeze. One hit. Sort of chaos warp magic. Doesn't even wound. Fantastic. <laughs> and um, then the, the aggressor. The aggressor will go into the sorcerer as well. So <laughs> I've got uh, six shots from his bolt storm plus D6. Four. Three. Four. So hitting on freeze. That's okay, actually. That's not actually half bad. Um, Full to wound. So two. Four, five. So five wounds at minus one, but you're in cover, so it doesn't matter. Was that five? Sorry. Uh, yeah, five three up saves. Takes uh, wound. So you down to three. Cool. Um, in terms of shooting, the submarines are doing an action plus doing a pistol, so not that fast. And the infiltrators there, I don't actually think can see anyone if I'm being brutally honest. Uh. No, because I am 
Yeah. I've made myself hidden from you for the time being. Yeah. So we will crack straight on into assaults. Yeah. I'm just going to charge the um, sorcerer. Yeah. I don't have any CP to watch. He's in. He's in. And he's literally just going to do that. So you can't, you can't heroically intervene. Fair enough. I think that's fair. Yeah, that would be the clever option. You don't want a hammer in the back of the head now, do you? So, so four, four attacks from being a sergeant, plus one for shock assault. Okay, so this is a warp charge of three? or f No, it's fours to hit, because you're um, casting fist. Well, I am going to cast actually <laughs> Simon's Gilliman. Yep. So that's my last. That's my CP vert game from this round, which gives me um, reroll hit rolls of one for um, any. So units, if it had troops roll, battlefield roll would get full rerolls because it's not. It's the grass and the league's choice. I get reroll one. Yes. So still decent though. So hitting on fours, rerolling those ones, completely worthless. Fun. Thank you. <laughs> uh, twos. Only one. That hasn't gone well. How many minus? Uh, minus three. So six up. Okay. Good turn. Takes two wounds. So he's on a wound. You then also get... Um, to fight back? Yes. Uh, so I get four attack space. But hateful assault because yeah, you charged me. Hitting on threes. Uh, remove the two twos. And then... Three's uh, to wound, because you're strength seven on the yes. side. Yes. So three's to wound. Two wounds. Cool. Come on, sir. Um, is it minus one, did you say? Um, yeah, minus one. Cool. Um, four ups. Okay, one goes through. And then it's D3 damage. Oh. oh thank goodness. Saw the six there. No, I did as well. That would, have, that would have not been great for you. No, because that would have completely not been <laughs> Okay. Cool. So, job was done by the gladiator. Fantastic. Not so much by this dude. <laughs> no. The aggressor has let himself down a bit, but at this point, I'm not quite sure how else I'm meant to take, take you on. Yeah. Because, would it have been potentially better to save that for an overwatch i'm not sure because it's hit on sixes whereas the reroll ones if it does its job yeah is the problem all right so we're going to move in to my next turn and see what i can come up with because i've got to try and do something now <laughs> cool so that was a pretty quick uh, movement phase for me these guys stood still because the chance their target's right in front of them these guys moved just round, so they're still within three, but then they have full shots on these guys. Um, my Chaos Lord has jogged up to be in front of the big tank. You are denying me that primary now. Yes. And in here, Sorcerer stays still, so, because if I, it's fallen back, I can't do any psychic powers, but as I've stayed in combat, I can. Yeah. So I'm going to try Smite onto the aggressor. Yeah. Because he's only got one wound left. Two wounds left. Two wounds, so I could smite him off. So, he definitely smites. Yep, so it's reg regular one because it's not great. Yep. Yeah. Kills him. Kills him. Cool, I have one CP, so I am going to spend it for the Great Sorcerer. And I'm going to try and cast Prescience onto the Chaos Lord as well, just because that will make, make the hammer swing even better. Which on a 10 goes off because it needs a 7. On an 11. 11. Yep. So he's now got prescience. He couldn't repair himself, could he? Could have. <laughs> <laughs> but he decided not to. Um, so going into my shooting phase, uh, the Chaos Lord is going to plasma the tank. Yep. I'm not going to overcharge it. Okay. So. Hits. Hits. Uh, five to wound. No wounds. And then down here, so I've got four bolters yep. and a bolt pistol. And uh, so you are in half range. Yep. So I get eight shots. Yeah, because you so I just got a pistol. Yeah. So hitting on threes. All hit. All hit. And then wounding on fours. Yep. Um, Not as great. No. 
That's three. Cool. Uh, no AP because they're just regular bolters. Uh, one takes a wound. Cool. Sure. And then bot pistol. Does nothing. Cool. And then other end, so eight shots again, because you're within half, yep. they also haven't moved. At uh, that range as well, the side might as well for a grenade. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Now falls to wound. That's uh, better. That's better. That's four wounds. Takes a wound. Takes a wound, and then he's gonna throw a crack grenade. Yes. Hits. Does wound. Wound. Fails. Fails. Kills a guy. Yep. So at least that's that. Cool. Um, so charges wise, I am going to charge your tank. Cool. I can't do it. I can't yeah. do anything about that. Uh, eight. So Ooh, he's just going to go to the front of it. Yeah, he's just going to go to the front. I'm not going to. Yeah. Bother. Cool. So we'll grab my attacks in a second and we'll be right back. Awesome. So we just went out because of hateful assault. I do get five attacks. I am hitting on twos. Would be threes, but I have prescience, which makes the twos. Oh. And, and of course, it rerolls all the ones. And then it does times two my strength, which so is strength eight. I'm just going say. So fours. This will be the big cider. No, in case you will survive. Uh, yes. Minus two. In minus two. Okay, yeah. so five's the save. No. That's uh, nine wounds it's taken. Nine wounds? That's not too bad. It's not great for me. Yeah, just, but at least I'm stopping you from getting the primary. Yes, you're denying me. Yeah. And he, that tank is now pretty useless for a turn. Um, remember, though, I can, I'm archering as I can for yeah. the So Cool. So that's the end of my turn. So we'll be back after Harry's next turn. Well, next movement phase. <laughs> of course, I'll see you in a sec. All right, so we've had some big brain pizza slices. We have, we have. And Harry has come up with his end game strategy. Probably not a good one, but <laughs> we'll, we'll give it a go. Cool, so what are you thinking of doing? So um, start, what have you done? Starting off, um, I once again only got five points on the primary because the Chaos Lord's now contesting me, which is fantastic. Um, Suppressor's just gonna stay there now for the rest of the game. He's in a bit of cover. He's doing his doing the best job he can do, really. Um, the tank, I've just decided not to fall back. A, I don't want to give anyone victory points for those moment because I'm now no longer within the center. I just don't have anything. And I have got a CP to spe I can spend on something like martial precision to automatically hit something in combat because currently he's only in hit on sixes. Not great, but I think it's the best situation, the best in this situation, really. Um, then, uh, further up in the board, the Assault Marines has decided to... Run away. Not, well, yeah. Run, <laughs> run away, for lack of a better term. Um, away from the five uh, Chaos Marines. Sure, probably could have potentially tried to take them on the fight, but what I plan to do is to jump them up. Um, they're, in, they're in a bit of cover, so they should be slightly safer and then next turn, jump down and get that final scramblers. Because to take out one of your primary points, these five infiltrators are going to try and bully some Chaos Marines. Yep. You know, I'm with him, I'm out, I ain't going anywhere. So, cool. cool. So, so you some shooting? Yeah, so what are you thinking of shooting? Um, we'll start off the most lackluster of the bunch. We'll do the suppressor. Yep. Me saying this now, we'll make sure who misses. Oh, we hit three times. <laughs> Priest wound. Wounded three times. Nice. Uh, three up saves because you're in cover. Yeah. Well, he's taking six damage. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's him dead. Yeah, Jesus. Bugger. Good. <laughs> no, no more slicing shenanigans. Um, we'll then do the um, curses. They do bolters, um, so marksman bolters, sixes, auto wounds. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Well, that's not good. <coughs> Got one, six. Yeah, but that's only four hits in total. So <laughs> that's really not great. Cool. So um, one auto wounds and two other wounds. Yeah. So three total, no AP. 
So three ups. And a little bit. Cool, we're going to have to sort this old fashioned when we come back then. <laughs> right, now we come to the big one. So yep. we're just going to put everything from the Gladiator into the uh, Chaos Lord. Okay. I am going to put one of my multi melters. I'm going to use precision, martial precision, to automatically hit it. Yep. The other three, I've got to hit on sixes. Okay. No. No. That's understandable. Now, wounding on twos with the auto hit one. That always happens with that strategy. That always happens. I'm not going to say anything right now. Right, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Um, and then we've got the last, last talons. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, I don't like his chances anymore. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't like his chances. <laughs> He's just scared of the Chaos Lord. I would be. Cool. Are you charging over here, good sir? I will charge over there. Sure, I am not overwatching. Uh, oh, I am in. <laughs> <laughs> so. Cool. Cool. Oh, that's in the wound. So, how many attacks have they got here? It's two, four, six, eight. 10, 11 for the sergeant, and then uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 shots off. So, I am in the assault doctrine now, so these will be AP minus 1. Yep. I'm going to ping off 1 or 2, that'd be fantastic. Once again, not great on the. Really not great on the hits there. All the late games coming to get you. Yeah. 4 wounds at minus 1 AP then, please. Okay, so 4 4 ups. Okay, so three dead. Cool. Cool. So my hit backs. Yep. Three for the Sarge. Two for the other guy, because I also get hateful assault. Um four for the Sarge. Is it four? So you get two, oh, yeah, one for two the base. So Yeah, so I'll do the Sarge first because he has got an Astarte chain sword, because I do actually get those. So, two teams, yeah. Jazz. All hit. Uh, three wounds at minus one. Watch me get cut down in combat. Okay, so one. Uh, did I have any sixes then? To hit? No, I didn't. No. And then. Cool. Cool. And then the other bloke. So one is dead so far. So, death to the false What's emperor. Cool. Yeah, fine. So you do you do kill one. Yeah. So that was a good return. <laughs> yes. And then I get to choose the next combat. So I only get four attacks this time. Um, but I still have prescience. Yes, because it's the, still my next psychic phase. phase. So choose the hit. Reroll the fail. Okay. Force of wound. One wound. Do you realise we forgot to do hits back from the tank freeze? We did. So, fives, the nice. same, and then I'll just mash them both. Yeah, but... Two attacks hitting on sixes. No. no. <laughs> sure. Because that's pretty much what happened. Okay, um, so that is the end of Harry's turn. We'll toss up some scores and we'll come back with Iron Warrior yes. turn four. All right, so end of my movement phase wasn't that exciting. Literally, just these guys fell back. So then these guys can help shoot them. Uh, but start, so we'll move into my, because there's no psychic. So move into my shooting phase. Uh, I'm going to fire the pistol at the tank. I'm not overcharging. Are you sure? You got reroll ones. All right, I'm going to do it. If it kills him, it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> so one shot hit in threes. Do you roll the ones? <laughs> okay. He hits. Cool. He hits. <laughs> wounds on uh, fours? Uh, yes, wounds. Yeah. I will say we don't bow to peer pressure normally. <laughs> so that does go through. Um, minus three, so sixes. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, then four shots from. Eight shots because you didn't move. Eight shots so they didn't move. That's a good point. 
in on fours. And then the sergeant will just throw Rude Jess to Rude's power fist. Yes, he'll say, come here and I'll hit you. And now on fours to win. Uh, that is three saves. Uh, no AP. Okay. Okay. I love it. Cool. Um, then combat. Your tank gets to punch first. I do. One attack hitting on six. No. No. Come on, finish me off. Four attacks hitting on threes. Reroll that one. Hey, hey. And death to force emperor. Oh yeah. Uh, I had two there, didn't I? Mm, I'll say one. Not, uh, I think that might have been two. Roll that, roll that one. It's a, bit of, it's a foregone conclusion at this point. Yeah. yeah. Both hit. Yeah. Uh, that is four saves. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you explode and kill me. It's not bad. <laughs> it's pretty tough close. Uh, no, it, one would have killed me anyway, so do I explode? No. no. Thank God. <laughs> well, that tank's been absolutely stunned. It game. has. He, I think, um, he's definitely going to become a main save on his list. Yeah, so that is the end of my turn. Yep. Moving into your turn five. Mm -hmm. What can you dig out at the end? I've got a couple ideas, but we'll have to see what we come up with. Cool, so we'll see you guys in a minute. Cool, so yeah, Harry has uh, ended his movement phase. And all you've really done is pulled out your uh, suppressor, the yeah. sniper, just to try and take on my Chaos Lord. I've also I've moved him as far away as possible from the, from the Lord to make that charge as tricky as possible. Yeah, we worked it out even in my turn five. If he survives, it's like nine, six inch move, then eight inch charge. Yes, it's it just near him. The, the Not near impossible, the but... The issue that it would put you in is, do you stay on there and get your points for your primary at the end of, end of the game? Or, actually what you could generally... Mm. Can no independent characters can't um, characters can't do bands of anything. No, so he'll just no, stay. Actually, no, I think they can. We'll have to check that one. We will check that one. Because um, you might you might just stay there and just put a banner up. Yeah. Okay. Um, down here, uh, your infiltrators. Uh, infiltrators stay still. So your boys dropped down and started bannering at the back. Uh, yeah, they've, they've done my final Octarius, just using their, their nice 12-inch yeah. move just to get comfortably within. So they've got in there. So into your shooting, yep. um, you're going to try and snipe my Chaos Lord. Um, yeah, we'll start off with the suppressor. So yep. I did move and we are in the Assault Doctrine, so hitting on fours, unfortunately. We hit. Nice. Only one wound. Cool. How many minus? Uh, minus one. Minus one, so three up save, because I have a two up save because of yep, my Relic. Awesome. Okay. I have one command point. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Well, have I told you about that wearing helmet? Uh, yeah, apparently so. Uh, so he's now taken three damage. Uh, two damage. Two damage. So he's had three wounds. Yeah, stupid bagger. <laughs> so, um, the infiltrators, um, they have stayed still because they're going to use both discipline to ping some shots over at the guys who shot yeah. at him. So, uh, eight shots hitting on threes. Mm, not too bad. Okay. No sixes though, so no... Um... Or twos. Yeah. Oh, now you get the six. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so two, two wounds. No minus. No minus. Uh, one dice. One goes flat. When, cool. when Chaos Moons get, get an extra wound, that would be massive. Yeah, that's all we can hope for in this world. <laughs> um, and then last thing I'll do for my turn is those infiltrators going to assault those. Yeah. Well, yeah. they're in. Yeah, they're definitely in. I'll see um, Yeah, squeeze up. And then... So... How many attacks do you get? A sergeant, and then... One, two, three, four. So three, six... 9, 12, 13 in total. Ooh. So, um, you know what? I am going to spend my last CP on Sons of Gilliman because yep. I haven't really got any. <laughs> an armor save is not really going to help me in, in Fallen You haven't got any sort of major no. stuff. So, because it's a troops unit, I'll just double check how I've got that right. So, if that unit has a troops 
that field roll until the end of that phase, when the resolving attack made by that, made by that unit, you may re roll a hit roll. Okay. So re roll So it's useful. Whereas if it was a non troop, you would be yeah. re roll ones. So. So those will hit. Cool. Nice. Um. Oh, that's not as good. <laughs> that is three wounds. Okay. Uh, minus one because I'm in salt. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Please don't kill me. That would be uh, <laughs> genuinely embarrassing. So, four or attacks for the Sarge. Uh, yeah, because two attacks base plus yeah. one shot plus one uh, Two, so then two for the dude behind him. So hit on threes. Okay, that's weighed up a bit better. Yeah. Uh, one wound. Four up save. Yep, because minus, he yeah. loves it. And then the two. One hit. One wound. Oh. No, takes takes from. Okay. So. One down to six wounds, apparently. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's one. <laughs> cool, so that's the end of Harry's turn. Cool. Um, we'll um, toss up scores and then we'll come back with two yes. five. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, so we have double checked it. Banners can be done by my Chaos Lord. So he has risen a banner over there. It is an extra point. You never know. Final scores might help. Yep. Um, other than that, they've just stayed still. There's nothing they can really do now this late in the game. Uh, down here, we've just got the combat to resolve. Yep. Um, so it's now just. I get to. No, you get to hit first. Yep, so it's just three attacks instead of four. Because I don't get the hateful. Um, so okay. one hit. No wounds, cool. and then one off the other dude hits. And death to full centre. Oh, death to full centre as well. So that hits. And no wound. So one wound. Four. Cool. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. Uh, two, four, six, um, nine attacks. Well, that's better. That's a lot better. Mm, that's not as great. And three wounds again. Cool. Uh, Infiltrators are not cracked up combat. They killed them. They killed them. Uh, actually, that's quite important now because that means yes. you're getting. That uh, doesn't actually get you engaged in France anymore. No. Um, so, what we do, we'll toss up the store scores and we'll come back because there's nothing really left to do, is there? No. Um, even Tarry's turn five will just be stood about. That was this. That was my turn yeah. five, that was your turn five. So yeah, that so is now the end of the game. That's now the end of the game. So, we're going to gonna work out scores and we'll come back with our end of game like chat so we'll see you guys in a second well what a game that was actually a really good game yeah and that just shows that 1000 points anything can go doesn't matter yeah, how definitely wherever you are in the meta 1000 points meta doesn't exist no well I, <laughs> to, to an extent i mean the ultra resist was was a lot tamer than it could than it could yeah. be but actually at that, because it was a lot tamer, actually both work quite well because your yeah. list is a fair, is a fair it's little, as strong as it could be. Yeah, but without going down the sort of the excessive going just pure obliterators. Yeah, how many obliterators can I take at a thousand points? Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but no, yeah. that was fantastic. Yeah, I'm glad it was to and fro because I thought yeah. at the beginning when you actually obliterated my hell brute and then my chaos colors, I was like, oh, here we go. Next mm -hmm. turn, I lose a load. So now I retaliated just as hard, yeah. and I was like, oh, okay. The, the Dare and Dare was a huge, yeah. so he huge took a big chunk. But at the same time, that value just, just point click, point click. For killing, that was your MVP. Oh, 100 By far. Your Assault Marines MVP, because they got everywhere, they did everything. Yes. They scored you a load of points, which is fantastic. Oh, no, yeah. So they, they got me engagement front points, they got me retreat with Tyrus points. Now, I was saying to you before we set this up, it would be interesting to see, because as they are, they're 90 points base, 10 points for the jump packs to score the five. Yeah. So effectively, for the same points as an intercessor squad, you get the same amount of bodies, you don't really care about the weapons because they're doing yeah. actions half the time, and they've got better movement. The alternative is a squad of three bolter um, inceptors, especially now that the points have come down. Because for 120 points, you get all right less wounds, but you have toughness five, 
and you've got the bolters. So yeah. I think probably the bolts on um, the bolter interceptors could pick it out. Yeah. But at the same point, the assault rings are cheaper. So it's, it's six and a half. Yeah. Ever, really. I mean, it just comes down to it. It's true. How much more flexibility you would get out of your points yeah. at the moment, which is fantastic because that's what the whole game's about. And it's also one of the reason why I've actually I've enjoyed playing that position. Yeah. Just because, um, especially in eight, if the unit wasn't really, really durable or. Um, stupidly good shooting or. Yeah, stupidly killing, um, there wasn't didn't have mass, place. masses no. of plays. Whereas actually, a unit like that, which I think when I first started playing fifth edition, the Sovereigns never really had a job because they didn't have enough attacks. No. You always took Vanguard Vets or some sort of killy, uh, killy sort of specialist unit. They've, not, they've got a bit of a job where they can just jump around and do yeah. these actions. Yeah, and they've definitely, it is good to see as well, to be honest. Mm. It was nice to have Chaos Marines actually do stuff. Cause definitely. Of course, I read everywhere before doing Chaos Marines, they're, like, they're not in a great place. But no, I've had a real fun playing them. Like, mm. the whole, just demon engines are funny. Yeah, yeah. Whatever they plowed into, it's just like cool, much, much, much. I'm going to have some fun here. Well, that, that's, <laughs> that's, I think that's that's what made this yeah. actually quite good to play against because there was so much. When Tom started saying, I thought, I'm not. Actually, if you get first on, I'm generally not sure <laughs> how I can take on that much armor because the Valiant will delete one thing and one thing only. But if you got four or five things running yeah. at me, where do I start? Yeah, my Chaos Lord MVP'd for me when he mm. got through the wall, just slayed everything oh, on his way. Which was so, I think it's probably because he has the Thunder Hammer. Yeah. It's, the thunder hammer it's, anyway. it's a flat three damage because it could go through aggressive. Yeah, the prescience as well. That was taking yes. into near Blood Angels style of play, which I have. Yeah. So many ways. <laughs> Personal favourite. Yeah, so having, so having a Thunder Hammer captain, you know, of Lord, has pretty much just been playing Blood Angels. But no, it was an absolutely brilliant game. Mm. And of course, thank you for always coming down, Harry. It's always thank a pleasure to have you. Um, Total wise, um, including painting and score, it was 71 to the Ultramarines and 59 to the Armourers, which actually, I think, especially as we only had about five ones left each, yeah. just really shows actually how close the game it was. Very much so. I think, annoyingly at 1k, something like engaging on fronts is a lot trickier than you think. Yeah. Same with Octarius, because you've got to be, it's not just in a quarter, it's further in yeah. the water, but I, and then you've always got the issues of you're never going to max out, say, a killing one, unless you can max out on vehicles. Yeah, and the uh, saving the last for me, we, when we were discussing it at the beginning, we were like, yeah, do it, the, the Dre will be fine, you'll yeah. get squeezed you fine automatically, and then he opened up and you were like, yeah, he needs to die, and I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> I but, know it is. But at the same time, you go, well, you could have gone, killed the captain for four points, okay, maybe that would be more right in hindsight. But, but you would have played them different, so yeah. it's, it's six and two threes. Exactly. exactly. Whatever I did take, there's always a counter argument, which is always great. Exactly. Um, but thank you for watching, guys. Uh, a massive thank you for getting us over 900 really subscribers. Massive, thank you. It's absolutely insane. Uh, when we started, it's just a hobby. Yeah. We didn't even think we would even get this far. Which no. Is, so thank you so much. We start. We started off as just. Yo, you, you said do you want to record yeah, that? Yeah, just to record that right now, but yeah. fun and yeah, just yeah. The thanks and all the views we get, it's just it's, insane. And, and the comments. Even with um, obviously COVID happening and yeah. not having to shut down for the best part of six months, well, even longer than six months actually yeah. for us. And we're slowly getting there. Fingers crossed, come June 19th, we'll be able to do. You'll be able to see and, Harry's beautiful face again. Yeah. Sorry, you can't see my full face again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll hope, fingers crossed, we can come back to some sort of normality. But yeah, definitely. Um, also, guys, um, we've been chatting, of course, in our little group. Is there any armies you would like us to try and get a hold of or use that you haven't seen on the channel before? Or even bringing back a classic army from one of our early bat reps. You thought, oh, that was a great bat rep, I'd like to see that army again. So if you want to leave a comment and let us know, and then, of course, we'll try and do our best to off, make it happen. Off the top of my head, we've obviously got... Um, there's Paul's call, call yeah. comments that, depending when Paul's available, there's obviously <laughs> COVID, COVID sort of restrictions permitting, that might be a possibility. Yeah. Um, Demons, we've got Tau. Yeah. Uh, we have got some other armies in the wings um, that yeah. we're trying to get on and slowly working our way through. So I'm bulking out a few more bits, bits and rocks, yeah. finish off a few more Blood Angels. Um, I have also done the Kind of stupid idea of starting a gene stealer car army, so that you're may be like, coming in the future. You keep saying Codex will make you S tier, <laughs> and then you're just going to wipe us all off the floor. But anyway, 
So thanks for watching guys. It's always amazing to have you comment and everything. So we'll see you next time and have a good day. Take care.